as per my first video, if you have seen, I introduced a little bit of this. Hi everyone, my name is Angie. Um, background today looks different. Um, actually, I'm not at home. If you remember the uh, Nibot video, yeah, that's why I am. So what's happening today, as you can see from the title, is I'll be changing the speaker on this guy. Um, this is my old MacBook. I have since upgraded to the touch bar version. This is the very old one with the nice keyboard that I still miss to this day. But it's okay. <laughs> um, so the speaker on this thing is gone since quite a while ago actually but I never got time to actually sit down and replace it. Uh, we've bought the spare parts so what happened was the left speaker died then progressively the right side died as well so we got the left side first then when the left the, when the spare parts for the left speaker reached the right side died so we waited for the spare parts for the right speaker so now I have both so I'm gonna be doing this but first off um, this is how it currently sounds like now. Yeah! Okay. Yeah, so that's how it sounds like now. So I will be changing out both side, both speakers. Uh, I won't be doing this, figuring out everything on the way. I have a guide on standby here. Here. Um, just in case, because this is too expensive a piece of equipment for me to break. <laughs> As per my first video, if you have seen, I introduced a little bit of this. As of the first video that you have seen, I introduced a little bit of this kit. Um, it has all the different screws that you possibly need, I think. Yeah, so I'll be using this today as well. Just make things a lot easier when you have all the right tools. Exploded view of the internal of a MacBook Pro. It is freaking dirty. Okay, can I just put a disclaimer out there? This is not actually my computer. <laughs> I use it for work. So it was an old work computer that I took over from the previous employee. And since then we've all upgraded to the upgraded to the new touch bar MacBook Pros. Um, I really like the old keyboard so I chose to stock with it and then until the point where my speaker died and then the speed wasn't as fast as it used to be 
I do a lot of media video editing, so like the computer the computer needs to function. And this one is not exactly functioning up to speed at that point of time. So I upgraded as well. Um but overall it's still a functioning computer. It's not like the motherboard is like burnt or something, like you completely can't use it anymore. It's just a speaker problem and so we decided to fix the speaker. Um pass the computer to someone else who needs it, a family member who currently needs a computer. So here we are. The computer is freaking dirty. Oh, I can't stand it. Okay, so um, this is the spare parts actually. Ah! Wow, dang. <laughs> this is the spare part actually, what came from uh, this is where we, we got it we got all the spare parts from iFixit, which is actually the guys who made the toolkit that I'm using. Um, they are also the one that created the repair guide which I have been following while removing everything because I'm really really scared I'm gonna remove something wrong. Um, I'll link everything down I'll put a link down in the description for you guys to follow if you ever need it. So uh, this is the spare part. I haven't opened it yet as you can see. So if you ever need to like try and fix the, your computer by yourself, right? Just really go and check out iFixit because like they give some of the most in-depth uh, guide. Uh, I didn't have a hard time following it at all. Like it's, it's really really simple um, with pictures. Like if you're confused, there's even pictures for you to follow. So yeah, my... So what I'm supposed to do here is just basically replace these two speakers. As you can see, these are the new ones. The old one is here. Um, yeah, like I might do some cleanup before that. So give me a minute. For now, this is how it's gonna be until I make sure that everything works. Ta da! Okay, it seems to be working. Functioning speaker. Okay, 
Okay, now that it works, just closing this up. It's the last step. It looks quite cool actually. Okay. I'm gonna try and use this as a thumbnail. We have a functioning MacBook again. Okay, this Apple project is actually quite fun to do. Um, definitely have more to come. I actually got a few things planned with the iPhone. Um, haven't got down, haven't got the time to sit down and actually record everything. So hopefully I'll get to do that soon. But yeah, Apple projects are quite fun because like you get, you really get to see, open up everything and see and. It's so neat inside, like the amount of engineering that goes into a piece of equipment. It's quite amazing. Yeah, so this one now will go to a family member uh, because she's currently in need of a, of a computer. So we figured we have a spare laptop with us, why not? You know? Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm still having trouble learning how to talk in an unfamiliar environment. So yeah, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you next time.